I fucking hate psychics. This video is sponsored in part by the Pig Cake Magic Academy. Over 400 videos already. $5 a month gets you access to all the videos. Learn how to be the best virgin you could possibly be. From all the way to holding a deck of cards to more advanced card slides. Oh boy. Oh boy, you in for some magical goodness. $5 a month. Go ahead and check it out. Links in the description below. We're talking a little bit about the idea of psychics and why it is that your boy decides to hate on them so much. It's a two billion dollar a year industry that still exists for some reason we tend to think that somebody else another human being somebody who shits could tell us the future now you see these stores prop up all the time i know that there's a bunch down here in america's penis of these so-called psychics these tarot card readers these palm readers where you could pay a substantial amount of money per hour for them to go and essentially lie to you there are over 89 thousand people employed as psychics in the united states alone why why do we still have an industry that is based entirely on lies then again this is my argument against magic this is why if i was president i would immediately make magic illegal because it's lying we're lying to people and we're making money off of it now the reason i'm being so picky picky about this ticky ticky is the fact that uh, i recently came across this individual named tyler Henry and I don't know if you guys are familiar with this individual I've already talked about him before in previous videos but he's uh, about 25 26 years old barely a sperm and he's telling people facts about their life facts about their future things about their deceased ones and he's doing the same bit he's doing the same John Edwards James Bag Prague Sylvia Brown bit that got so popular in the 80s and 90s but he's taking it to the next level because he's a young attractive gay now I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being a young attractive gay I'm a young attractive gay however in this particular case he's a young attractive gay liar psychics are provably liars it's it's not a subjective fact it's an objective fact they're doing magic tricks and they're doing magic tricks poorly this is the part that really aggravates me and yes i'm butthurt because they make way more money than i do i'm butthurt because people are essentially lying to your face about what it is that they're doing they're making up memories with your deceased ones they're telling you things about your parents that are no longer here on earth that are not true they're making up lies. So if we look at Tyler Henry here, he's known for being a celebrity psychic, which apparently is the way to market yourself if you wanna make money doing this. And he tells different psychics facts about their deceased ones. In this case, he's talking to Matt Lauer about his father using obviously Googled information in order to try to get a reaction out of Matt Lauer. And what I do love is that again, these guys are using magic tricks. There are techniques in magic, in mentalism, in psychics known as cold reading cold reading is the art of pretty much going up to an individual cold or with no information whatsoever and getting information from them while regurgitating said information in a way that makes it seem like they're the ones that made it up so in this case you might tell somebody you're you're a very introverted individual but you have times where you are extroverted well Am I, am I the only one here? Yeah, of course, there's gonna be times when you're introverted and there's gonna be times when you're extroverted. But if I wrap that up in a nice little bit of a bow and make it seem like your father's telling me this from the other side, then obviously you're gonna get some sort of emotional reaction if you are someone that's inclined to believe. And you see this all the time with anecdotal evidence, with people that are already believers. When they tell the uh, reporters or they tell whatever person that they're defending psychics to that they told me stuff that I've never told anybody, Bull bullshit. If you look at the tapes, if you look at the videos, of which, by the way, every single one of these tapes, every single one of these shows, for some reason, they go on for four hours, but you only ever see 15 minutes. Makes you think, makes you think, doesn't it? If you happen to look at those tapes, what you'll see is a lot of fishing. What you'll see is a lot of guessing. What you'll see is a lot of the participant actually talking, the psychic barely talks all he's doing is he's busting out his uh psychology book and looking at the carl rogers school of psychology where all you're doing is repeating back what they're telling you to the participant that's all you're doing 
You just got to repeat back what they're saying. And then they're going to remember in their feeble, dumb minds that you, the psychic, were the one that told them the information to begin with. Now, my favorite thing about Tyler Henry is that he will pretend not to know you. If you're a celebrity, if you're somebody of clout, I guess, if you want to call it that, he'll pretend not to know you. When he comes up to you and gives you a psychic reading of which he's previously Googled you on and your family information and things that are publicly available, he'll tell you, oh, I'm, I don't know who you are. That's odd. Tom Hanks, that's, I don't know who Tom Hanks is. That's kind of odd. Uh, I guess you stranger will do a little bit of reading for you. I see that you were in a movie. You were in some sort of movie. There's a coconut. You're screaming at the coconut. Will, Will is Will something? Does that mean something to you? Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. does that mean something to you? I want to choke the life out of you. That wasn't a direct threat, by the way. I don't want you to think that that's directly a threat to anybody in particular. God knows YouTube and their harassment policies is already uh, punching a nice hole in my wallet. Now, what I love about this particular individual and Tyler Henry is that, again, he's just part of a long list of people who are deceptive assholes and take advantage of grief. And you might tell me, pick cake. I don't understand. He's not doing anything bad to them. Why not just give them a little moment of solace, a little moment of relief, and have them at least pretend that they're talking to the parents? Because you are creating false memories. You are tarnishing the good name of whatever it is that your parent was involved in for this fucking bullshit asshole who decides to take advantage of you for financial gain. This guy's doing shows. People pay this piece of shit because he takes advantage of the fact that you're never gonna talk to your loved one again after they pass away. All the memories that you've had is the only thing that you have left with them. And what he wants to do is give you the small chance, give you the possibility that through him, you're able to talk to that deceased loved one, which I think is despicable. Now, this is just one individual. And yes, I know this is just one person with clout. But at the same time, just look at these websites that put you in contact with people like this that again, take advantage of grief, take advantage of vulnerable people just to try to make a quick buck. Now, I was just reading a little bit of an article that was talking about how more people are turning to psychics for guidance during this pandemic. And uh, it turns out that a lot of people tend to be looking outwardly towards otherworldly means for answers uh, for things that nobody else has answers to, which to me is a very scary prospect. It's a very scary prospect that people are looking for answers and they seek to go to people like this, to, to assholes, to liars, to frauds, in order to get information that they can't find anywhere else that scientists are having a hard time figuring out. Obviously, a person that is uh, as qualified as a spoon is not gonna have more information, but they're still going to people like this for information. Now, again, you should take it with a grain of salt because that is anecdotal. It's not necessarily anything that is based on empirical studies, but if there are a majority of people that are coming out and saying, I'm going to psychics, then that's an issue. Use your head, use common sense, use logic. Don't give money to charlatans. Don't, don't give attention to charlatans. Don't give any sort of, if one of them was on fire, you shouldn't even think about peeing on them. They really make me wanna crap out a book on how to puke and to try to take advantage of people in their in their grief stricken times it's really it's really sickening to me and i know i know this is coming from a perpetual meme or somebody who makes dick jokes on a day-to-day -day basis but i could be serious too i have the capacity to be serious so this is uh pretty much the point of this video i just wanted to put this out there and uh just have what you will uh, put your little opinions in the comments if you guys are uh, fans of psychics as uh, you could see from my previous demon magic endeavor, I seem to get some crazies from time to time that leave some comments because uh, I would love to argue with you as to why you think <laughs> psychics work, why you think psychics are a good thing, why you would possibly think that a psychic is a worthwhile profession. So please do leave your opinion down in the comments. I'm not going to disable the comments or the likes in case you happen to disagree with me with this. I want all of it. I want all of the hate. So thank you. I'm going to go figure out different ways to use a tech neck mouse to um, stop my wireless Movo receiver. <laughs> Here's a fun trick you could do, by the way. Uh, it's Jack, Jack Kent Tillar. Jack Kent Tillar, I believe. What you do is that you get a lighter. You get a lighter. Let me get a lighter here. Uh, and you grab one. And uh, here's the thing. Most lighters have a circle right here. You see that? They have a circle on top. So if you put your thumb on that, right? Let's say you put your thumb on that for a little bit of time. And uh, you let go. It looks like there's a blister. Now, you do have little gimmicks that you could use, but that's beside the point. And it looks like a little blister. 
right? So you light it, you light the thing, and then you go, ah, and you show them the blister. And at this point, you could use your psychic energy to go, and uh, by rubbing it, you're, you're pulling the skin. So uh, the blister looks like it's completely gone and completely healed. Now, some people have poured salt on it to make it uh, disappear or whatever and say that the salt is the way that cures it. Uh, well, you could do whatever you want. You could do whatever incantation you want, and that way you look like you're um, a little bit of a psychic healer. So you could do that. Uh, now, quick point here. You could do this with uh, most lighters, but I suggest you do it before you light it because if you put your thumb there after you light it, then it's going to be hot and you're going to give yourself a blister for real. So uh, put, put your thumb on it before you light it. Then you uh, take the lighter out, you draw attention to it, you light it, and then you do your little bit that way. Just a quick little thing here if you want to trick your friends into thinking that somehow you're a psychic healer.